everyone, it's Little Lolly Cat here, back with another review! This time of the Kiddos Little Sailors. And these are more adorable than I can give them credit for, to be honest. I really like the um, landing strip with the little sailor lion. Um, initially, I wasn't so sure about the rest of it, being quite a large print and kind of a, what I would view as a bit of a strange blue. But genuinely i think they are one of the ones that look really nice on they're quite flattering they've got the same plastic as the original kiddo owl diapers used to have which was a blast from the past when i first put it on they are tough they are strong they can take a beating they have some fantastic tapes on them um personally i would rank them at uh you're looking at about six hours territory wear wise so they're not the most absorbent but they don't claim to be so a lot of the money has actually gone into the shell and decent tapes and tabs and the design instead of going over the top and claiming to be 8000 and then charging you for that for something that isn't necessarily the best elsewhere so they have the two tab tapes which are actually quite strong and as you can see are quite high up as well which is really handy if you have a higher hip um, they have the high standing leg guards, they don't have the blue patch in the middle which some of you I know like. They have the front and back um, elastics. These are one of the ones I have actually re recommended to some of my friends in general because I do think they are genuinely good quality. They are slightly more expensive for something that isn't as absorbent but like I said you can tell the money's actually been put into other areas like I said like the shell, the plastic itself. The fact that it's decent sap, not just cut with um, sawdust or wood pulp. And the fact that the tabs actually hold, which is probably one of the most common complaints with ABL companies, that it's one of the things they like to cost cap is tabs, which is one of the things you really cannot cost cap, especially if you're using them for genuine usage. Outside of that, um, yeah, they're just a good all round dip, honestly. Uh, I do think they are particularly cute. I did look at buying some more now that um, I'm almost through a full pack of them, so I do like them. But unfortunately, if you're in the UK, the mediums are no longer in stock in the NRU or currently aren't in stock. So it would be a case of me ordering straight from Kiddo itself for through like Diaper Minister or something like that, which obviously does face customs charges then. Um, if you're outside of the UK, obviously, if you're Europe based or Diaper Minister that stocks them, um, it would be a case of importing from what I've seen if you're based in the States. I don't know of any shops that do actually stock them, sadly. But honestly, if you're US based, be glad because you have to spend something like £560 to actually get charged customs, which is a massive amount. So the chances of you actually being charged customs is slim to none. So yes, your shipping may be high, but trust me, if you had to pay like 50% to 20%, 20 to 50 percent on top because of customs charges um it'd be much worse um but yeah they are a good all-round dip i think they sit particularly nice they are friendly if you are curvy they um are just good decent quality they're a good solid shell and yeah they are obviously a bit crinkly Kiddo themselves do actually have a couple of designs out right now. There's technically four. There's a one tab, the two tab like this, and a Velcro tab. And I would say this is probably their best one out right now. Not just for looks, but for actual usability. Which is probably the most friendly to the most shapes as well. And yeah. Hope this is helpful to some of you. It is genuinely a nice brand. Well, a good mid brand. And if you like little clothing like more pajamas sleep suits with feet and stuff like that definitely give them a check out because they also do those and bye everyone mm -hmm.